YouTube Dawson Rider here with a review for the DX Drago Timer from Common Rider Wizard. This is the device he uses in the show to go all dragon and also to turn in all of his forms at once, uh, Digimon Season 2 style. Um, so let's just go ahead and we'll get started. We're just going to set the thing aside for a second to take a look at the box. Uh, pretty much what you'd expect. Obviously, you got a picture of the Drago Timer there. Uh, you got Wizard All Dragon picture here. Um, at the top, you can see, well, let me back it up if you can see it better. A uh, picture of all of Wizard's Dragon Styles um, up there. This is DX Drago Timer. Um, right here, the picture for uh, Flame's Dragon Style just continues over. Um, on the side here, you get a picture of all of his styles yet again. Um, on the back, um, basically advertises the noises you can get with it, um, what you can do, and basically what it does on the show to correspond to the noises. On the side, you get a cool picture of all Dragon. And on the bottom, a picture a flame dragon style and a uh, picture of the toy again. So, pretty standard stuff. Um, so obviously you've already seen it. Here is uh, the Drago Timer, which is what you get. Um, all it comes with is the Drago Timer itself and then these two straps here. Uh, one smaller one for up here and one for down here. They're just kind of these uh, plastic straps that uh, go in and they're pretty sturdy and uh, they fit just fine. Or they stay secure just fine. Um, so for the overall look of it, it's a pretty small little toy, um, but it's not bad looking. Um, it's actually kind of a neat idea, which is uh, neat, and uh, in a lot of ways it's kind of weird because I think it's kind of a strange design, but also kind of neat at the same time. I have this timer here, basically. Uh, this is kind of an all in outline of uh, chrome, which looks pretty nice. Uh, you got the different colors in here for the forms. Um, obviously you have the standard sort of wizard um, hand right here. Um, at the front here you have a clear little dragon right here which looks a little bit more like a bird. Um, what's on top of a base that looks like a ring because this basically has a, a little scanner in it so uh, it's basically like having a ring built into it. Uh, the silver paint on here all looks pretty nice but uh, overall pretty basic, a little small but um, it is uh, fairly nice looking for what it is. Um, so now we'll go ahead and go over the noises. Uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to turn this on and it'll say Drago Time and this will light up here. So that is what it does. And now all of the functions are going to be via this dial. So you're basically going to turn it all the way back till it's, uh, it uh, snaps. And then it'll make noises depending on what you do when it spins around. If you just let it go once uh, and come back around to this, it'll say one mation. And then uh, if you hit it on water styles, two mation, three mation hurricane styles, and then formation for land, and then you'll get dragon formation. So we're going to go over all of those. Um, it should be edited out so you don't have to wait the whole time. But we'll go ahead and show you the f first full one. So you just twist it around, and then it'll click. It'll say set up, and it'll just kind of do that light and be in a standby mode until you press this thumb in. And then it'll do that again, once again in a standby, standby, standby. Okay, so it said one mation, and if you couldn't hear, uh, it said flame dragon when I pushed the button. Um, it's kind of a little more difficult to get than the other ones because you're on the red portion so, uh, so shortly. So let's go ahead and we'll do the others. So two mation. Okay, so now three mation. Sit and Final time. Three mation. Okay, so that was three mation, and now I will do the one with all four, and I will try to hit them all to get to the final sound. So. Even I'll try to get to uh, fire.
right, so that is about it for what you get on its own. Um, now it does have some functionality with the wizard driver, which I'm going to ha sort of have to explain first before I do it. Um, it will do the same thing with the wizard sword gun, so I'm not going to show it just because of how obnoxious it's going to be. All right, so here we have the wizard uh, driver. I'm actually going to actually it's off. I want to leave it off for now um, because uh, the first thing I want to do is uh, show you when you just place it on there regularly. It'll just make a, not right now, but uh, it'll just make a, uh, like a generic noise, um, and it'll just kind of flash here. And then when you place it on there, when it's uh, cycling, it'll make little noises uh, on this for each individual one. And they'll both kind of basically make noises simultaneously, and then I'll eventually pull this away to do uh, uh, its an own noise on its own. But it's going to be very uh, hectic, very loud, you're going to kind of have to pay attention to hear. Uh, so that's a bit annoying. So, um, this is the noise of just generically. You know what, I might want to try this. Let's do that, okay? So. So it will do that, it will just make that generic sort of um, actually, I'm going to close this. I thought it might be easier, but anyway. Um, so it'll just make that generic sort of noise there, as you saw. And this will say, not ready, which it will also do if you press this without winding the timer. And then I can just tell you no a bunch of times. Okay, so now we're going to set this up. So get ready for a noise fest, okay? So we're going to set the timer up. And we're going to set the driver up to be ready. All right, hope you're all ready. So now it's like I'll drag it and then pull it away. So that's what that does. Um, as you can see, you heard it say all dragon, and it was kind of cool when I pulled it away to hear them say please simultaneously, but overall it's really hectic. Um, but yeah, that is about all the functionality you get for this thing. Um, it's kind of funny because I really wasn't looking forward to this uh, toy that much, um, but when I got it, it's actually pretty fun. I think that the idea is really unique. Um, which is really cool. Um, and just like the idea of like this sort of timer and the way it's used is just kind of a neat idea. Um, the design overall is like I said, it's, for me it's like a mixture between odd and kind of cool. So I actually had a lot more fun with this than I thought I would. I think the functionality with the wizard driver is a little bit annoying. Um, it's just kind of, uh, you have to, in order to get all the sounds you need both of them, but it's just really hectic and I don't really find any enjoyment out of it because of how annoying it is with both noises going at once. Um, but so for an overall final verdict for this thing, I don't think this thing is an absolute necessity like uh, certain other things if you're trying to get um, a lot of the wizard toys. Um, but I think if you do get it, it is a lot of fun. It's more fun than I thought it was going to be. So the bottom line is, is it's not absolutely necessary, but uh, if you want to pick it up, I think that you could have fun with it. It's a fun little toy. It's got some fun features, um, but it's not like um, absolutely amazing or anything. And the functionality with the wizard driver is a bit annoying, but hey, maybe you liked all the crazy noises. The two pleases were pretty cool. I mean, it was super polite. But anyway, um, I think that about wraps it up. Until next time, make sure you check out Riders, Rangers, and Rambles for the Toku podcast that brings you Toku news in the craziest way possible. Until next time, this is Dawson Rider, signing out.